Hey everybody, welcome to How To Tuesday this week. I want to talk about something that's very simple, but a very important part of all fishing. And one of the most frequently asked questions that, that I get, and it involves knots. And I got so many questions about knots that I did 40 different videos and put them on YouTube. Now they're on Waypoint TV, all about different knots. The most popular one by far has been the the one entitled the only knot you need. And, you know, just as far as this podcast goes, I want you to know that I love knots. I love all things about knots. I, I like all different aspects of them. I think that there are some knots that work really, really well in some situations, not so well in other situations. And you kind of get in a place in your fishing career where you feel like a, you, you, you want certain knots for certain things. That doesn't mean that another knot wouldn't satisfy the situation almost as well. And I did this one knot video called uh, The Only Knot You Need. And it's about a knot that uh, really is pretty much the only knot that you actually need uh, it's not the only knot that I want, but it is kind of the only knot that you need for about 99.9% .9 of all fishing situations. Soon you'll get into crimping and you'll get into fishing with wire and other things like that. But for the most part, from bluegill to tarpon to all kinds of things, you could actually get away with this one knot. And I'll, I'll explain it right here. Um, the reason that, that I like this format and this this kind of one knot for everything approach is that it really simplifies things for people who are not um, very experienced with fishing. Maybe take a child, for instance, or somebody that wants to get into fishing. And a lot of times the knots can be um, the most, really the most uh, intimidating thing about about fishing for some people. So I like to try to simplify things as much as possible. And when you start getting into fishing with braided lines and other things, people get overwhelmed with all of the different options. So this knot and the way that I'll describe it is a knot that you could teach someone and they are going to be able to pretty much accomplish anything. Now, the knot that we're talking about is the uni knot. It is also called the Duncan Loop. And it's probably got some other names regionally or, um, or, or, you know, throughout the world, people call it different things. But the Duncan, not, the Duncan Loop and the Uni Knot are the same thing. That's how, that's what I know this knot by. And I think most people do. And uh, it's a very simple knot. I'm going to suggest that you go and look at the YouTube videos which are now on on waypoint as well so you can go either to youtube or you can go to waypoint and you can search saltwater experience uni knot and um you'll get there and i've done step-by-step -step knot instructions but for the purpose of what we're talking about today the uni knot is you simply go through you know you make a little loop and you circle around you go through this other loop that you make three or four times maybe five depending on the size of the of the leader that you're using, and then you pull it tight, and then it actually um, kind of pulls down, tightens down, almost kind of like a noose, uh, but it's very strong. So that is the way that a lot of people know how to use the uni knot is just simply to tie something onto the end of the line. But there are way more, there are way more ways that you can use that knot, and there are. This is how you, I can justify saying that it's really the only knot you need because. Say take a, a spinning rod or a fly rod, either one, and you get this rod out of the box. You've got an empty spool. You can tie your line onto the spool with a uni knot. And you put whatever backing on a fly rod or, a, or a, um, a spinning rod. Let's take a spinning rod, for example, where you're going to put some monofilament backing on to keep the, uh, the line from spinning. Then you're going to uh, put your braid on the top. So if we tie a uni knot to the arbor of the spinning rod, spinning reel, pull that tight, put on, you know, whatever you need, 50 yards, 100 yards of monofilament, and now you are faced with this 
uh, situation of having to tie monofilament to braided line. This is where a lot of people get intimidated. But you don't have to because what you're going to do is you're going to lay the lines parallel to one another. You're going to tie a uni knot on one side, the monofilament over the braid, and then you're going to tie a uni knot on the other side, the braid over the monofilament. You're going to pull those tight. Those two knots are going to jam together, trim off the tag ends, you're good to go. So that's a double uni knot. Then you're going to pull in all your braid, you know, reel, reel it up, fill the reel up, and you're going to have another opportunity to tie a knot. And that is going to be from the braided line to the leader. Again, you tie a, a double uni. Great knot for this. Um, two of the best fishermen that I know, Rich Tudor and Steve Roger, man, they tie a uni and a double uni all the time. I mean, all the time. You get a guy like me or maybe a guy like Scott Walker who likes to geek out on knots and do do things a little bit different. And he ties this knot for this per particular purpose and this knot for um, this pur purpose and has maybe maybe a dozen knots in his, in his uh, arsenal of how he ties knots. But Rich and, and, and um, Steve Roger fish right next to us and they've got the uni knot and the thing works just as good. So double uni from the braid to the leader. And then you go down, now you need to tie on a hook or a fly or a jig or whatever. And again, that's where you tie the uni knot. Now this can work for bass fishing, bluegill fishing, trout fishing, um, any type of fishing. And until you get into, you know, really fishing with really heavy shock tippets or really, you know, using wire, um, doing anything where you need a crimp, man, this uni knot and the double uni is really a great knot to know. And what I think um, the takeaway here is that if you're trying to teach somebody how to how to fish, maybe you're maybe you have kids, this is the knot you need to teach them. And they need to come become proficient with this knot. And really, <laughs> they could fish their entire career and this could be their knot. They just get better and better tying it, better and better at tying it with different materials and and uh you'll you'd gain tremendous confidence with it. Surely there are definitely knots that are better in in other situations than the double uni. Maybe the double uni, you have tag ends that come out um, parallel to the line. That's really nice for, for going through the guides and not catching, catching uh, debris, the blood knot, not so good for that kind of stuff. Um, you know, there's, there's big advantages to using it. Eh, you might find some other knots that work better in certain situations, but for the most part, the double uni will get the job done. So I encourage you to go to... Um, Waypoint, look at the how-to section, and you can see step-by-step -step how to tie this uni knot with two different color lines. It's very easy to follow. Um, you can also go to YouTube, Saltwater Experience Uni Knot. Um, it's our most popular knot video, and for a reason, because it's good content, and you can, you know, really, really learn how to tie that knot like that and teach it to somebody else, and the, the video moves so slowly that... You know, you can have your grandson or your, your son or your daughter right there and they can follow along too. So one knot for everything. The uni knot. It's How To Tuesday. See you next week.